In this video, we're going to talk about what are the differences between posts and pages in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. If you're new to WordPress or maybe you're about to launch a new WordPress website, you may be wondering what is the difference between post and pages? The key difference between post and pages is that posts are organized chronologically and sometimes by category or tag as well. And pages are organized as a hierarchy. So pages are typically what you would find in the menu structure of your website. It's very easy to create a new post or a new page from the WordPress dashboard. If you head on over to the left-hand menu under post, you'll find a menu item for add new. And if you hover over pages, you will also find a menu item for add new. Posts are also typically more social. So if we look on over on the AIO SEO blog at the companion article to this video, entitled Post versus Pages in WordPress, everything you need to know, you can see that up towards the top of the page, we have social share buttons here. And most WordPress themes will include social share buttons with your post. You can certainly have social share buttons with pages as well, but it's almost always a default behavior with post. The other thing we can see is that this post includes a last updated date and an author. Pages are organized as a hierarchy and typically do not have an author. The other thing we see is if we scroll down to the bottom of this post is that by default, it includes a comment section. So posts are designed to be more social. You can encourage engagement down in the comment section of your post. And most themes include social share buttons as well. Pages, on the other hand, are organized more by hierarchy. So if we look down at the footer menus here, these are all pages. We have an about page for our company. We have a career page, a press page, a testimonial page. These are not organized by date. These are more permanent structures of the website. They certainly can change. The content on those pages is definitely updated from time to time, but it's organized more by hierarchy and less by date. If we click on the about page, for example, we can see that the focus of this page is informative and it's less focused on social sharing and commenting. There's no comment field on this page and there's no social share buttons. You can include those things if you wanted to. WordPress gives you the ability to do that. But typically, if you're going to create a page, the purpose is not for social engagement and sharing. If you're going to do that, you would use a post. So this is an interesting page on our website. I call it the post page. It's our main blog page. So if you look on the top menu here, this page lives right here under the blog link. And it is a page of our latest blog post. So if you scroll down the page, you can see we have this blog post about a simple SEO tutorial for beginners. And then we have a blog post about Index Now. And then we have a blog post about using Link Assistant. So this demonstrates both things. This is a page on our website because it lives in the permanent hierarchy of the site, and it lists all of the blog posts on our page. And the defining feature of posts is that they are timely, and typically on a website, they are listed chronologically. So on this page, for example, the most recent blog post on our website will be first, and you can scroll down the page and see every blog that comes after that one chronologically. So if we look at this demo site here, it just has a bunch of demo content in it. We can see that there are Categories up top, fashion, gadgets, lifestyle, video, travel. I'm going to click on travel. And we have all of these posts about travel. So I'm just going to click on this one. As well as being organized chronologically by date, posts can also be organized with tags or categories. So this post, for example, is a lifestyle post and a travel post. So it has both of those categories attached to it. So if I click on the travel link up here that is associated with this post, then we get all of the posts on this website that are related to travel. So that's another defining feature of posts that you typically do not see with pages. The last thing I want to mention about post versus pages is one is not more important than the other, especially from an SEO standpoint. They both have a place in your SEO strategy. Search engines value aged pages, and they also value websites that regularly update their contents. So we use a lot of both. We use posts and pages on our all-in-one SEO site. So those are some of the differences between posts and pages in WordPress. If you click on this next video right here, we'll show you how to easily create a robots.txt file. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks 
on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.